Uh, there we go. Okay, start. I'm home. That's weird. That would usually be yelling back at me right about now. Is he not here? Today's a nice day. Kojiro, good morning. Uh, you're too loud this early. It was a day like any other. Beginning with greetings exchanged between classmates. Hey Kojiro, did you hear? Apparently, Mikoto has another boyfriend. Yeah, that Mikoto. The one from Mikoto Niki. <laughs> huh. You don't seem very interested. Man. And she's so popular too. I guess you just don't care, huh? Oh yeah, one more thing. It's about Rikana. You know how she hasn't been coming to school lately? Well, none of the teachers would tell me anything, but I managed to overhear something. Apparently, she dropped out. Don't know why, but she could have at least said something to us. We were her buds. Day one, calling and feeling. Another boring class came to a close. But I can't believe Rikana would drop out. Why? What would she just do without saying anything about it to us? I thought, uh, I wonder if it was a spur of the moment thing. Someone's calling me from a public phone. Who's this? Sup, Kojiro? I don't get why they only show like half of the face in the in the vlog shot. Have you been? I don't know. Huh. Cool, cool. Anyway, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out somewhere. I mean, it's not like there's anyone else I can invite. Well? Sounds like a pain, but I'll go. I'll go like edgy boy on this. I don't think I'll do a second playthrough. Alright then, come to the bench. See you there. I don't think I'll do a second playthrough like make sore, because she hung up on me. Because there's not really much of anything that changes. I'm pretty sure the bench she's talking about is just past the convenience store. That's by the school.
Yeah, I'm back. Uh, a well-maintained plant. It's a 24-hour convenience store. There's a trash can with some empty cans inside. Must be a pain for whoever has to clean it out. I wonder how much they're paid. Various drinks are lined up in the vending machine. Various drinks are lined up in the vending machine. Welcome! Strawberry milk, honey milk, cafe au lait, cocoa au lait, fruity milk, banana milk, green tea latte. That's... <laughs> that's funny, actually. The references to Mixor. Strawberry milk, honey milk, cafe au lait, cocoa au lait. And then these, these next three, I don't really know. Wait. Loving lunacy strawberry milk. Rotten bastard honey milk. That's fitting. Pure evil cafe au lait. Old time cocoa lait. First love fruity milk. Is that a reference to something? To another game? Fun. Um. Let me see real quick. Uh, maybe First Love Fruity Milk? That might be Makoto Mobius. Banana Milk. Easy on the Stomach Banana Milk. Maybe it's Yumi and Empty Words. And then Green Tea Latte. I don't, I don't think these are references. Maybe it's uh, Mikoto Niki. Or maybe First Love... Fruity milk is Mikotoniki. Easy on the stomach banana milk. Might be Yumi and Empty Words because it's like a very, very short game. I mean, when I think of like fruity milk, maybe. Bulboko Yochien, but that one came out in 2017, so four years after this game, so that can't be right. I don't know. These probably aren't even references to anything. You know what? I'll buy them, just because. Oh, I can't even buy them. Oh, yes I can. It just doesn't even give me the option to buy them, it just like, buys them the moment I click on them. USA! I offer my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Absolutely. Thank you, USA. There's a vending machine. Loving, <laughs> loving lunacy, strawberry milk, rotten bastard honey milk, pure evil cafe lait. Oh? There's also old time cocoa lait. A well maintained plan. There's a trash can with some empty cans inside. Must be a pain for whoever has to clean it out. Wonder how much they're paid. What is this? Trash can contains nothing of interest. Trash can contains nothing of interest. It's a red flower. I wonder what kind it is. The water is somewhat cloudy. A well maintained plant. Alright. Took you long enough to get here. Were you just wandering around randomly or something? It's been a while, Kojiro. What are we gonna do? What do you want? Uh, what are we gonna do? Actually, I have no clue. Hmm, I got it. It's already pretty late, so... Let's just go to my house. You haven't been there in a while, anyway. Sounds good. Damn straight. Let's go. Uh, 
I like how I'm the one leading the way, even though, even though it's her house. A suit and a watch are here. Could this suit belong to Rikona's father? The watch appears to be stopped. I offer my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Love you, sir. Best bun. There's a photograph on the top shelf. On the bottom shelf are a diary and a magazine. What should I do? Look at the photo. It looks like a family photo. Rikana and her father. Wait, Rikana, her father, and what appears to be an older brother are in the picture. None of the three look very happy. Uh, read the diary. It looks like it's Rikana's diary. She's right here with me, so I probably shouldn't try anything. <laughs> Look at the magazine. There's a magazine called Mystery Tunnel, published every other month. It seems to deal with horror themes and mysteries. This edition has a special on urban legends. Tsuchinoko, discovered at last? Secrets of Sandstorms. Do you know about Mobius? <laughs> Pretty typical subjects. Because <laughs> Makoto Mobius. Inside the tissue box, there is a picture of a cat drawn. There is a picture of a cat drawn. Did, did he gonna doodle this? This bed has absolutely no warmth to it. This bed has absolutely no warmth to it. This is just a random stool I can't talk to, alright? Oh, bathroom. My face is reflected in the mirror. I'm not very good looking. I'm average, if not worse. A clean toilet. There is some spare toilet paper here. It doesn't seem like you'd be able to reach it from the toilet. Inside the trash can, there are some empty rolls of toilet paper. There's a bath stool here. I think I might have seen it in a dollar store somewhere. It's a faucet. It's the type of a temperature control. The bathtub looks nice and clean. Hey, Kojiro! I'll get some honey milk ready, so just hold on a bit. Mmm, man, this honey flavor is just too good. Huh? What's up, Kojiro? Do you not like honey milk? I like it. I knew you would. I drink it every day, you know? They actually have this brand of honey milk everywhere. Vending machines, cafes, supermarkets, you name it. It's really expensive everywhere besides the supermarket though. I wonder why. I think those other places are just trying to rip me off. Pretty much, yeah. You sure love complaining about money. Huh? You say something? Ah, this sweetness really hits the spot. I love it. So what about you, Kojiro? Do you have a particular favorite drink? I've never heard you mention one. I like... <laughs> Usa! <laughs> oh, I never would have guessed. So why'd you call me? Or did you need something? You asked that earlier too. Is it really bothering you that much? I really didn't have a reason for calling you. I've just been, you know... Alone since dad died. 
Maybe I just wanted to be together with someone. And sip some honey milk like this. Gotta pee? Ugh, Kojur, you're so crude. Um, I'm... Gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Okay. Hold on, I do know that there's something we can do here. Yep, they literally like points to an event. Uh, for my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Yes. Nikon is in there now. Have a peek? Yes. Huh? Um. <laughs> Why you just, just barge in like that? Wouldn't you normally knock first? So that's the kind of guy you are, Kojiro. Now I feel sad. But anyway, there's a cute girl using the bathroom right now, so... Do you mind getting the hell out? Seriously, get the fuck out, shithead. <laughs> I got locked out. <laughs> I guess she hadn't locked the bathroom door. Kojiro, it's going pretty late, huh? Go ahead and go back home. I'll lock the door. And before we do that... There is something we can check here. There's a photograph on the top shelf. Yeah, yeah. No. I did not mean to click on that. I want to read the diary. Nine sixteen. I think I'll start keeping a diary from now on. No real reason for it. Just wanted to try writing one. Nine seventeen. Today was the same as always. That is as annoying as ever. I wish he'd stop talking, taking his anger out on me. 918. Dad cancelled our internet service. I think he can't afford to pay it anymore because of his debt. But without internet, my big bro is gonna. 921. Dad killed himself today. For some reason, he left behind a will. It was addressed to me. You have a knack for deceiving people. So, money shouldn't be a problem, it said. Looks like he forced his debt onto me. How the hell is this not a problem? And why me? I don't understand. Nine. Stupid, 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 stupid. Why does this have to happen to me? Why do I have to pay for other people's crimes? It's fucked up. This world is fucked up. The diary ends here. That's the note that we saw in uh, Mixor. Also, I just realized there's a TV here. A small TV is here. I didn't even notice that. This one doesn't look like it costs very much. It's tiny. And now empty teacup is here. Inside the trash can lies nothing. There doesn't seem to be a porch on the other side of this window. It's a worn out gas stove. Inside the cabinets underneath are a bunch of plates that look like they came from a dollar store. There are pots and kettles under the sink. There are various puddings and gelatins inside the refrigerator. There are also several containers of rotten bastard honey milk lined up. Rikana's uniform is hanging here. Give it a whiff. Sure, you horny bastard. Sniff, sniff.
I think that's something you can do in another game. It's probably like where the... Rikon is still in there, I should leave her be. Alright, let's go then. Leave Rikon his house? Yes. It's gotten really dark. I better get home soon. I'm glad I was able to see Rikona today. It's been a while. I wasn't able to ask her why she dropped out of school though. I should ask her the next time I get a chance. I quietly closed my eyes with that thought in mind. Day 2, Outing. It's morning, and I have the day off today. With nothing in particular planned, I decided to head into town. Um... Pretty sure nothing really... Usa! After my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Absolutely. So you came today too. Could it be? Were you hoping I'd be here? Nope. Well, I don't have anything else to do, so whatever. Sure, I'm hungry though. What about you? I haven't eaten anything yet. I'll treat you. Really? Now you're talking. Man, I'm glad it's sunny today, too. Looking at, looking at this deep blue sky is kind of cleansing my heart. Makes me want to just yell out to it. Man, this is such a good weather. Or something like that. What are you talking about? Do you not watch TV very often, Kojiro? That line pops up a lot in certain commercials, and it kind of stuck in my, and it's kind of stuck in my mind now. Maybe TV, maybe TV can really brainwash a person. I'd like to believe there's no way it could have that much influence on someone, though. Hey, Kojiro. Isn't it about time we got a bite to eat? I'm starving over here. I'm sure I can count on you to treat me to something tasty. Right? Sure, alright, but you owe me double. Ugh, guess I don't have a choice right now. That cafeteria looks, looks good. Let's go. Cafeterias really are the best. There's all sorts of good food just waiting for you. Though, I always just get ramen. What about you? I'll have what you're having, I'll have curry rice, I'll have tempura udon. Uh, you know, I'll have curry rice. I do love me some curry rice. And so we had lunch together. We were simply sitting there, eating without a word exchanged between us. 
but Ikana appeared to be genuinely enjoying herself. Thanks for the food, Kojiro. I kind of wasn't sure about eating ramen in the middle of the day like this. But it actually worked out pretty well. So, got anything planned for the rest of the day? Not really. <laughs> I knew it. Alright then. I'm gonna take you to a cafe that I like. My tree. Your treat? Did you just say... Yep. It's not every day that you get to be treated by me. In fact, I'd even say it's a rare and valuable experience. So, how about looking a little happier? But before that, I have something I need to take care of. Let's split up for now and meet up again later at the bench. Usa. Offer my save point services throughout the nation. Here to save. Oh, you showed up like you were supposed to. Alright then, we're off. Yours truly is going to introduce you to a restaurant, so expect the best. Ah. Uh, sure would be nice if I could take every day off like this. Some people just try, and try so hard, but things still never go well for them. But you know what I think? I think that if you keep trying, eventually there'll be a day where all the experience you've gained will pay off. Of course, there's no way to know when that day will come, though. You think so too, right? The hell are you going on about? <laughs> We're here, Kojiro. Well, looks like a pretty good place, doesn't it? I like how it's kind of hidden out of the way. Looks nice, it's great, it's alright. Looks nice. Right? And you bringing you was a good idea. The inside looks pretty nice too, don't you think? Welcome. Please order whenever you're ready. It's kinda hard to enter. I could care less. It's too fancy for me. Uh, it's kinda hard to enter. Hmm, I figured you'd think that. You know, the first time I came here, I saw the waiter and wondered if I had made a mistake. But look, the prices really aren't that bad. As I looked down at the menu, my eyes were met with some rather reasonable prices. See? Turns out, you really shouldn't judge a book by its cover. So, that's a relief, huh? You can see it written all over your face, heh <laughs> Alright then, I'm having some honey milk.
Hey, Kojiro. You want to know why I dropped out of school, don't you? I'll tell you. My dad was always worrying about some money he owed. And he would vent his frustration on me every day. And he got even worse after my brother committed suicide. It's no wonder my mom left. I really, really wanted to run away too, but dad couldn't do anything up couldn't do anything by himself. So with no other option, I just stayed with him for a while. And then one day, he went and killed himself. It really shocked me. I just came home one day, and no one was there. At the time I thought, man, now I can finally be free. But it didn't end there. It seems Dad has chosen some less than legitimate sources to borrow that money from. And that entire debt fell onto my shoulders. It's a real pain in the ass. I was thinking, why me? I'm not even the one who borrowed the money. So because of that, I'm about to lose my house. I figured I should set a few things straight before then. Uh, that's no reason to drop out. I'll help you repay it. Uh, that's a pretty good reason to drop out. Uh, I'll help you repay it. If it was that reason, uh, if it was that easy to repay, I wouldn't be struggling so much right now. It's only about a hundred million yen. You think it's all just work out somehow? You think it'll all just work out somehow? I cannot read. It doesn't fucking work that way when you owe that much money. So, sorry, but I've decided to just live my on my own from now on. After that, we left the cafe without really saying anything to each other. Man, it's gotten pretty dark. Well, I have to go this way. So, see ya. Had a lot of fun today to go... Wait. I had a lot of fun today going to all sorts of places with Rikana. She seems to be in a very complicated mental state due to all of her issues at home, though. What kind of day will tomorrow be? I quietly closed my eyes with that thought in my mind. Day 3. Accident. It's morning. Ikana might be over there again today. I decided to go into town. Usa, I need your help. Okay, my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Yes. Yeah, there's only four save slots. So that's the best I can do. Uh, skip decision? No! Don't skip. Also, kitty. I thought... Rikana would be at the bench today as usual. But she was nowhere to be seen. Meow. Without Rikana, 
I... That's right. I had nothing I wanted or needed to do in particular. I was just going along with her to the places she wanted to she wanted to go, hiccup. But still, I really did cherish our time together. I'm home. What should I do? Read a manga, watch TV, study. Uh, read a manga. That's what I'd usually do. <laughs> Guess I'll read a manga. Just sitting around doing nothing would make me feel gloomy. I was so fixated on what I was doing that I lost track of time. By the time I realized it, the sun had already set. Maybe I'll take a trip to the convenience store. As I was heading to the convenience store, I stumbled upon something I wished I hadn't. There seemed to have been a car accident. Did it only involve a single car? Huh? Wah! Are you okay? Oh no, an accident. Uh, oh no, an accident. It's a person. A man was lying on the ground, clearly hit by a car. Oh, Kojiro. This guy, just right in front of me. I couldn't believe my eyes. Rikano was standing right there. I... I'll call for an ambulance. Rikano ran off to a public phone. I wonder if she has any... I wonder if he has any identification on him. Here he is. Or here it is. A passbook and seal, and a diary. It's not every day that you see a person carry their diary around with them. Looks like this guy's name is Kantaro. No way. Apparently he has 200 million yen on his bank account. A quick flip through his diary says that the money was left for him by his parents. I wonder if I could save Rikana with this money. What should I do? Uh, gonna show it to Rikana. I called for an amb Ugh. I called for an ambulance. They said they'll be here right away. There's already police cars though. <laughs> I should reconnect the passbook that had a balance of two hundred million yen. What? Two hundred million? <laughs> That's a hell of a lot of money. What does he have that much? He has a diary. Let's read it. <laughs> it's his inheritance. Man, if I were this rich. 
I wouldn't have it so hard the way I do now because of that that. And get this, not only is that guy rich, he's also the captain of his football team and he has a girlfriend. You see Kojiro, you see just how unfair the world is? Give her the passport. Yeah, I think I'll be taking this. I already told you before, but I'm still going to go live on my own. I doubt we'll ever see each other again, so take care. With that, Rikana simply left, smiling. This is good though. This way? Wait, this was the only way. To save Rikana from her death. Several days later. I was having lunch at the at a ramen shop. A small TV nearby was showing the news. Someone had been arrested for th for theft. What? I began to tremble. The name they displayed was... Bad End 1. Arrest. Yep. Let's continue this. Load, slot 4, alright, and this time we will skip to the, to the options, thank god that's an option. Skip to decisions, yes, thank you. I wonder if I could save Rikana with this money. What should I do? Return the man's belongings. I shouldn't let Rikana find out about this. No doubt she'll try and steal it and just use it like... And just use it just like that. There has to be a more reliable way to take the money and save her. I put his belongings back where they were. I called for an ambulance. They said they'll be here right away. You can repay your debt now. Huh? What are you talking about? I don't get what you're saying. Let's take this rich guy's money. You can't just commit a crime like that and expect everything to be peachy. How exactly do you plan on pulling this off? Just trust me, bro. We had some time before the ambulance arrived. Dika and I began forming a plan. We came up with the idea to make him think he has amnesia. Of course, after an accident as bad as this, he might actually have it. We'd be finished if he checked if he checked his family registry, but he won't really be up to it as long as he's in the hospital. 
Yes, this should work perfectly. You really think this will work? Guess it depends on how well I can play my role, huh? Well, this is all for my sake after all. I have to do my best. I hear sirens. I decided to leave the rest of Rikona and headed home. Was this the right thing to do? It had to be. Without uh, whether we committed the crime or not, Rikana was headed down a dangerous path. I thought that this was the only way to save her. Several weeks later, it's time. If everything went according to plan, Rikana should be walking out with the money right about now. And since I helped devise the plan, maybe she'll give me a part of it. Rikana. Kojiro. It went even better than expected. This is okay, right? Hmm? Huh? Your share? Is that what you were after this whole time? Yep. That leads to a bad ending, so I'm gonna do it. You know... The whole point of me taking this money was to pay off my debt. But... I guess it was your plan that made it succeed. I guess I could give you 5,000 yen. That's like 50 bucks. But, um, I don't really want to see your face anymore. So, could you never talk to me again? Gold digging men are the worst. After leaving me with those words, Rikuna disappeared into the city. I doubt I'll ever be able to see her again. Was it wrong of me to have expected a reward for helping her out? I guess now, I'll go back to my average everyday school life. Those boring days will become my daily norm once again. The hustle and bustle of the city rings loudly in my ears. Bed and two. Separation. Uh, okay, so now the problem is... I'm gonna have to skip through a lot of dialogue. Skip. Alright, it's time. 
If everything went according to plan, we kind of should be walking out with the money right about now. And since I helped advise the plan, maybe she'll give me part of it. Mille fiori. Kojiro, it went even better than expected. This is okay, right? Hmm? Ha? Huh? Your share? Is that what you were after this whole time? Actually, no. You know, the whole point of me taking this money was to pay off my debt. But I guess it was your plan that made it succeed. Wait. I guess I can at least say thanks, Usa. Usa! No reaction? Now I just feel embarrassed. After that, the two of us began hanging out together quite often. Several months later... The time of year had come for cherry blossoms to begin blooming again. Ugh. Ooh, they look so great, Kojiro. Being like this. Looking at the cherry blossoms of Rikana like this made me feel made me feel odd. Almost as if we hadn't committed any crimes at all. Our peaceful days were simply going on as normal. That's what it felt like. What are you spacing out for, Kojiro? You said you'd treat me to ramen today, too. We're friends, after all. True end. Money is everything. There we go. Alright, that is it.